My past is shaped to me, but it is not to find me. This is my story. I was born in a polygamy family. My father had three wives. My mother was the third one. During that time, my father told me that he was not my real father. But I never asked my mom who is my real father. Since that time, I started suffering. My father used to threaten me in front of my sisters and siblings. Even my sisters and brothers, they started to hurt me because they were saying, who is your father? I stay with them until when I was 11 years old. They forced me to FGM, but I refused. They wanted me to get married. I refused also. When I was 12 years, it was during the night. My father and my mom were not at home. Four men came and they took me away. I cried, but uh, they were strong. They, they took me to a market, to a bus station. So they, were, they told me to stand there as I weighed them to look for a car. And I saw a car which was written World Vision. The people who were in that car were able to, to rescue me. Yeah, and then I went with them to their organization. I stayed with them. After two years, my family, they came and they asked forgiveness from the manager, the owner of organization, and said that he will took me to school and everything they were doing at first, they will not do it. And, but I refused to go with them, but the World Vision told me to go. I stayed with them for about two weeks and the same thing happened again. I ran away from home, I went and stayed with my uncle for about two months. His wife also was not in my side. She said that you go back to your parents. Then I went to stay with my stepbrother. He was, he was my stepbrother, he was living in another place. Actually, I've stayed with all my relatives. I went to stay again with my sister. During that time, my father was the one who paid the school fees. So he was considering those money which were to be paid for my school fees loss. Around August 2015, I decided to escape from home because of the, they were abusing me for many things. So from that time, I decided just to go. If I get help, it's okay. If I die, it's okay. And then I came to Nairobi because I had my cousin who is living at Nairobi. He took me to Equity Bank. We went there and explained everything to the senior manager. And that lady said she's going to bring me to Art Kenya. And then after there, I went to school. So I'm waiting to go to school this year, September. Art is good. It's a good home, a supportive environment. We had, had everything, security, food, education, everything and it is a peaceful home. I hope to succeed and to help other people outside who are suffering.